What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it was a random matchup against this other fair play clan called Inconceivables. And fortunately for 2.0, it was supposed to be our arranged matchup versus Violent Wizards, but uh, um, Inconceivables sniped us on that. Uh, obviously, not on purpose or anything. Uh, ended up being a really good matchup, as is. Um, was talking to a few of the Inconceivable guys on the YouTube channel and uh, yeah, it's kind of wishing each other luck and so on and so forth. So hop on over. Uh, Victor came away with the victory 80 or uh, 2.0, I should say, came away from the, with the victory 87 to 80. Um, so, you know, Inconceivables felt a little bit short. Um, they did do a pretty good job overall. Uh, got a three star on Salty there. Two all of this stuff up top. Uh, their downfall was they missed one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, six of the nines. Uh, so not quite the difference in score, but pretty close. Uh, so some stuff for them to work on, but good job for them nonetheless. Uh, 2.0 were studs and clean everything up top with the TH10 triple in there to show you. Um, yeah, cleaned it all the way down. So nice job, gentlemen. <clears throat> like seeing that clean board. Um, I'm going to do a little bit different of a series because I want to show a couple of these 11s and um, you know th these are both well number one is a max 11 number two is a near max 11 uh, so I'm just going to show you uh, team unique kind of jumped up from uh, swarm he's now actually a member of Invicta which is awesome uh, but jumped up to join us for the violent wizards war but that obviously didn't happen so uh it might be good for you guys just to see how these 11s are getting those uh, easy two stars versus other max 11s. Uh, what I liked here was the spell combination. Only brings the one rage, three jumps, and earthquakes. Opens it up. I really think he wanted that one little corner to open, and that would have made a huge difference in the raid, if you ask me. Because um, these golems are going to walk right in, but then he's got to burn a jump spell here. If you had a jump spell for this kind of back end over that inferno tower, that would have made a huge difference in the raid, in my opinion. So I'll come the witches. I think he had like 12 of them, plus a couple in the CC at least. Uh, so you see this huge clump of Windsor, uh, witches sorry, underneath that warden. Um, you're going to kind of see that jump spell is down. The first jump spell, he ends up, I think, having to burn another one. Um, kind of interesting placements. I think he could have spread those out a little bit, um, but everything kind of just works its way up. He wanted to ensure that, though, like he's just going for the two-star here, right? He wasn't going for a triple. Would have been nice, obviously, but um, see that jump go down again, kind of overlapping? That that just wasn't necessary. If that one little piece of wall had opened up, so I don't know if that was just a little misclick on one of the earthquake spells. Uh, so that was unfortunate. Because uh, if he had a jump spell over top of this back area, you'll see kind of what happens. It would have let everything else into this, uh, the rest of this stuff. Um, but bringing the jumps was crucial because you do not want your witches getting stalled up on walls. Because as soon as witches get stalled on a wall near a wizard tower, especially those town hall 11 wizard towers, uh, it can be serious trouble for your raid. So see everything's working in, right? You know, Grand Warren is still protecting this huge clump of witches and there's just a crap ton of skeletons just running up there they're getting taken out really quickly but they're producing more skeletons than the defenses can take down but once a couple of those mortar shots get in there it poses some issues um you still see these skeletons doing work right but eventually it kind of stalls out right here because again like i just said they get stuck on these walls if there's a jump spell opening everything up all those skeletons would already oh excuse me uh, all those skeletons would already be in these compartments taking everything down, but his job is done. Two star in the bag on their number one, so nice job, Unique. It's unfortunate you could not get in on your first arranged war with us because uh, we were looking forward to it, but uh, well done, my friends. Well done. Put those skeletons beat her down. Good job. Oh, that was a little delayed. <laughs> Um, so this next attack was an awesome attack. Uh, Mofo 96%. Sorry, I got to show this. I know it's probably a painful memory. This is a TH10. Mo's a max 10 going up against a near max 11. So let's check this one out. <clears throat> uh, so obviously the walls aren't maxed, but pretty much everything else is, right? Like, uh, I don't think I find maybe the, there's one out of the four wizard tower, sorry, five wizard towers there, uh, upgraded, but 
you know, this is a very, very strong base nonetheless, and Mo just really picks it apart. Does this little queen walk, charges in, or doesn't even charge in, gets his air defense, keeps walking it up and around, ends up meeting it up with his kill squad, gets two air defenses. Um, this uh, one Inferno is single target, so he busts everything in here. I think he gets that multi-Inferno and only brings two Lava Hounds with 23 balloons. So, um, was a really good plan. Uh, I would have been extremely worried about only bringing two Lava Hounds to this. Um, because of that single target Inferno, if it locks onto a Lava Hound, that Lava Hound is going to go down really quickly, not to mention all the traps. Uh, but it worked out. So you're going to see this in a minute. Poison goes down, takes care of all the CC troops. There's witches in there, all sorts of minions. You do need to have some diversity in your clan castles. Uh, you can't just put a hound and a loon in everything. Otherwise, it's just way too predictable. So unfortunately, though, for that CC comp, the poison takes care of it. No problem. So this, uh, Queen's going to take out that Arch Tower and then go up and around. There she goes. King goes in, start doing a little bit of tanking as well. Queen's going to start forcing everything down now to this section. He's going to open it up and let this stuff in and take out that air defense. This queen's going to hop the wall, so he's going to get the defensive queen at the same time. <clears throat> Boom. He only had the one wall breaker there. I don't know if he lost one or maybe he's an extra one by accident. I'm not 100% sure. but uh, So queen is just going to continue working in. King is in there going to lock on to that defensive queen. Down she goes. All this is going to get just destroyed. Rage goes down and kind of bust everything through. Yeah, I believe he does get this Inferno Tower because that Dark Elixir storage is about to go down and then that Queen's going to lock on. <clears throat> oh, no, she locks on the Expo, but rages it up, ends up getting that. Doesn't even go for the Inferno Tower. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it doesn't quite get the Inferno Tower. Oh, he does. He does. Just in time. <laughs> Love it. So in comes the Lava Hound. Few balloons kind of behind each hound. Uh, they're in there doing tanking, but see how quickly that first lava hound just gets destroyed. Like it's already burst. He only has the one left. So as soon as this one shifts over in one second, you're going to see that uh, single target lock on. Not quite, I guess, eh? Uh, but it doesn't matter. That hound uh, bursts under that air defense as is. So there's no hound left tanking this air defense. He ends up getting it all, but loses a handful of loons in the process. I don't think taking a third hound would have made the difference here because then he would have only had, I think, like 17 balloons, and that just wouldn't have been enough. Um, so it kind of had to do that. He was handcuffed. Those healers really took a lot of uh, troop space. But as you can see, it's cleanup time here for Mo, and he comes so close. It's just heartbreaking. Uh, he's got these two collectors up here, Army Camp and the Dark Alexer Collector. Very, very nice try. 96% buddy with still an extremely sexy attack as is. Well done. Check out my boy Malfunction. Living it up in Alabama. Must be enjoying that national title for the title for the Crimson Tide. Even though probably nobody watched it, I don't think, unless you're from Alabama. <laughs> college sport, college football is just getting ridiculous. They have way too many bowls, way too many everything. It's just so annoying. I don't know how anybody can follow it or watch it. <laughs> Not to mention they had it going on during the NFL playoffs, which also didn't make sense for ratings. But anyhow, Mal is obviously the master of the shattered lalo so look what he's doing here he's got that first air defense down defensive queen is down cc is getting yanked out that king is in there gonna knock down that inferno tower there uh the air defense is gonna go down there it goes bam so their job's done this is like a standard shattered lalo but town hall 10 style because uh not only did he get a bonus inferno tower in there but he got both air defense you got the cc troops and the defensive queen which is obviously the major 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 key components to any sort of shattered lalo um, so in comes his three Lava Hounds, one in, few behind, Haste goes down to kind of push everything quickly through this stuff and then right in on top of this stuff, uh, like the Expo and all that. Another Haste goes down, a few more balloons kind of backing everything up, just targeting those defenses on the outside. What I did not like about this guy's base, uh, sorry Ginger Vitus, but I think your air defense are way too exposed on this side. Not only are they very, 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 very close together. But he targeted that air defense without killing any defenses. Like, he literally dropped three balloons that went right to that air defense. So, uh, not the greatest air defense placement, in my opinion. And Mal really, really just abuses that. He's got so many balloons in there. There's only, uh, finally, that hound burst. Uh, but really, there's the two Teslas. 
Wizard Tower is the only thing of concern at this point, but it is about to go down, and then it will be clean up. Unfortunately, does not get that other hound to burst, so he um, doesn't have those extra puffs to help for his cleanup, but it doesn't matter because he's got enough of everything left over, just destroying everything around this base. Well done, Malfunction. Just a beast on this one. Really picking up those... Uh, Really nice to see at 9.5, you know, really, uh, it's almost like you're bullying the 9.5s. It's kind of kind of interesting, and not even 9.5s, you know, 9.5s with Infernos, I guess you might want to might want to call it, but Tree Stars in the bag. Beautiful. <clears throat> My man, JJ. This is JJ's kind of base, completely maxed out Town Hall 9. JJ brings nine Valks. Um... What is in a CC here? Must be a golem. I don't know. I guess we're going to play this out. I swear I saw... Oh, yeah. He brought two giants as well. I'm not sure, 100% sure what those were for exactly. Because he drops them with the kill squad. Maybe just add a little bit of tanking. But you can see the uh, the golem goes down. Funnel gets created. Test wall breaker is in and good. Waits for that mortar. And then, boom, sends in the other two. Opens up that wall. Golem's going to get let in. Funnel is created. Army camp's got to go down, though, just in case, but it doesn't matter. That Dark Barracks is going to yank everything into this base. There goes those two Giants ahead. I guess they were there just to just to add that little extra tanky and let his Valk survive. Now, JJ almost makes a crucial mistake here. All these Valks go in, but see this see this uh, Clan Castle coming out? That's all balloons there, and that is the scariest moment in the world for Valks. When you have a bunch of Valks in there underneath those balloons, it can completely end your day. See, one, they got one shot off. I think they got another one, so they barely make it through there. Um, they do, though, uh, but that would have been an extremely scary moment. That Queen Under the Rage really, really made the day for that, but these Valks all in there just kind of all get destroyed. Like I think he's only got that one Valk left uh, at this point, but it doesn't matter because he's sending in the Hogs. All different points of the base, really just targeting these defenses. Three hogs per defense. I think he brought like 20 hogs to this raid, um, which really makes uh, makes the day here. Queen steps in there. She's about to burn her ability to help get rid of this cannon. Oh, just in time. The bomb almost gets the hogs too, but just barely, barely squeaks this one out. But all defenses are down. It is going to be a tree star. A little more cleanup. Got wizards all over. Hogs are looking good. I like that one lone hog off to the 3 o'clock section and just cut that uh, gold uh, collector just in time. So, tree stars in the bag for JJ. Nice job, my friends. The old cold-blooded Gova ho. Like it. We're going to Frank the Tank. Bring a very, very similar attack, except he brings the double jump instead of the uh, Earthquakes. Uh, so yanks the CC out, uh, so he's a, being a little more uh, cautious here. I'm not 100% if this was a cleanup attack, uh, but yanks the CC out, poisons it up. Uh, a double poison almost kills a P.E.K.K.A., not quite. Like you're going to see here, I think it's got maybe like 30% of its health left. Yeah, at most, maybe even 25%. Uh, so that is really good because then he can just go ahead and drop those golems in. He knows when he gets that queen down, it's going to lock onto that P.E.K.K.A., take it down instantly. So nice, nice, easy funnel on this side. You know, nothing too, too crazy. Gets that army camp down. If you can get that army camp down, he knows everything's going to go into this compartment right here. And what I like about these anti-3 bases, and this is why I always preach Valks versus a TH9 anti-3 star base, is um, the compartments are set up for you to make very clean jumps. Uh, you don't, it's not like those very compact bases. That's why you can't really use comp, uh, Valks versus like farming war compact bases as much because... Uh, you don't really know where the jumps are going to take them. Here, you know, there's those two defenses, and they're going to continue on right into this core. And then all of a sudden, you're going to see, bam, another jump go down. Heal goes down because all those Teslas, uh, just like anything, guys, a triple or a quad Tesla can really, really damage the crap out of your units. So you got to get that heal down. So he does. Jump goes down. Valks are about to lock on. Second heal goes down. Really just taking care of the Valkyries here, which is a really good idea because he's just going to work through the huge, basically it makes a beeline from, uh, you know, 9 o'clock straight across to 3 o'clock, taking out everything along its path. Valks are now standing there, immediately sends in some back-end hogs to help protect the Valks. So now you're just playing the game, protect the Valks, right? Because you can keep them up, keep them alive. They're going to continue to do damage and wreck this base. So only a couple compartments to go. Sends in, you know, four hogs on a K. 
cannon, three hogs on the archer tower. Everything is just going down simultaneously. This base is wrecked. Frank the tank, looking good, buddy. Very, very nice attack. Couple more trash, and that's your tree star in the bag. Sexy, sexy. All right, I got one more. I was just gonna make this one a quick one. Nothing too crazy. A little behind on my content right now, so oh, my arm is itchy. Ah. Um, so much different attack here by my man Warp, my little Canadian buddy. Warp and I are actually gonna get together, hopefully, and come to Chicago live. Um, in June, which would be awesome. Uh, Warble only lives about three hours down the uh, down the 401 from me here in Ontario, Canada. So, uh, be nice to hook up with that guy because uh, watches have been watching his attacks. We got, I think we got taken into Invicta about the same time, actually. Um, you know, promoted it promoted to core Invicta. I know a very similar time. So I have me and Warb have been in the hive for almost the exact same amount of time, and uh, I've I've seen him come up the ranks, and just he is awesome. Um, you're gonna see this queen charge just kind of lets everything in. She's gonna get all this rage is about to go down. There it is. Gonna rip through the expo, rip through the cannon, rip through that archer tower. Gonna make continue making his way along here. See these. Uh, um, the lure comes out, gets that CC out, gonna drag that CC over, jump goes down for the queen. She's gonna take care of that air defense. Uh, really like the way this worked because this half dead zone created a funnel for that queen, which pushed her right back over to this jump. Gonna take care of these CC troops that are under poison, no problem. Just gotta get that balloon. I like how she's not targeting the balloon, but there she goes. So first air defense is down. She's gonna continue along. Finish off this section. I believe he drops one more rage coming up here and gets that second air defense. And all he has to do was that actually the third air defense? My bad. Third air defense because <laughs> there's only one more remaining at this three o'clock location here. And goes ahead and sends in the king, opens it up. He's going to walk this king right in here and take out this compartment. Wizards go down, just kind of keep that king moving into that compartment really nicely. Really wants to get that last air defense. Boom, there goes that uh, third air defense for the queen there. King's going to continue on in, rage it up, smack down these defenses. Oh, excuse me. Wizard tower down. Just got to get that air defense. Wizard's going to come in, back things up. Boom. One more shot. And down it goes just in time. Also gets that Tesla with the last shot from the wizard. Couldn't have cut it any more close on that three o'clock apartment. But you see all these dragons in. Saved a rage for the dragons. Uh, got this uh, queen here. I think he's going to drop one more rage. Does he drop the other rage? No, he doesn't need to. It doesn't matter. Tesla goes down. No big deal. A few loons going in, helping out. There's five dragons in the base, and there's only 19% of the base remaining. So clearly, 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 this is a very, very sexy tree star. Drops the haste anyways, even though you know damn well he did not need to drop that haste. A little swag haste action. Tree stars in the bag for my chocolate buddy ward. Nice. <clears throat> so, um... I don't know. I just decided I wanted to stick to the top side of the map. Uh, this warp, there was some really nice, you know, TH9 attacks, but all very standard. I mean, we get so, so many of those. Um, I think it's just nice to nice to show some from the top, right? Uh, we had uh, we had some other swarm guys in there too. Um, I'm trying to see else. I thought we had three swarm guys. I know we had unique and what our number thirty was. Uh, what's his name? Sorry. <laughs> Uh, big boy and I swear oh cracker cracker was in there as well so nice job guys way to step up uh, unfortunately we did not get the arranged matchup we we're looking for but that's the way it goes inconceivables very very good try um, you guys just got a little bit to work on on your midtown hall nines and you'll be right there uh, you know with the best of them so uh, hats off guys great war we had a lot of fun um, yeah, fantastic job all around for 2.0 as well. Uh, can't stress how uh, how much I appreciate being your clan mates because uh, you guys are all just beasts. So I'm going to call it an afternoon. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help to bag that next tree star. And until then, I'm out.